Well, now to something that affects all of us, the opioid epidemic. We've told you about the impact on children and how the crisis is causing the foster care system here in Northeast Ohio to become overwhelmed. But there's another consequence too, a consequence that's hidden and growing. You don't see as many black over here, do you? Two different brain scans, two different children. They're both three years old. This is a nice, healthy looking brain. This one's is, is a trophic of missing parts. The one on the left, clearly much larger and fuller. The one on the right, smaller with more empty space. The difference? It's not based on disease or illness. The child on the right has been severely neglected. The bottom line here is if you don't use the brain and if you don't exercise the brain and you don't stimulate the brain, it doesn't develop the way it should and in fact you may lose vital uh, vital functions. And Dr. Max Wisnitzer, a pediatric neurologist with University Hospitals, says a lack of love and nurturing early on has a huge impact on a child's brain. After the baby's born, the first two years of life is the time period in which the majority of brain development occurs. It's becoming a heartbreaking reality of the opioid epidemic. The parents are into their drugs so much, they neglect their children. And the children can basically be living in filth, they're left to fend for themselves. Dr. Wisnitzer says neglected children become adults with lower IQs, more mental health issues, and a greater risk for poverty, crime, and drug abuse. And what happens in those circumstances? We create a new generation that basically will do the exact same thing their parents did. Which is why he says early intervention is key. One is identification of ethnic children, uh, development of interventions that we know will work, and training the parents to do those because that way they practice all the time and the children get the nurturing, the mental nurturing that they need. Well, early intervention and screening for at-risk children is actually mandated by federal law. Here in Ohio, we have the Help Me Grow program. It has offices in every county in our state. Dr. Wisnitzer says it's more important to over-refer than to miss children who need the therapy.